right. Uh, this is how I want to do movie reviews. And the movie I have in my hand is, I feel like no one I know, anyone I've ever talked to, has not heard of this movie. And, you know, it was a straight-to-DVD movie, and I know most of those are terrible, but this one, man, I, I try to recommend these to my friends, but they don't ever care to watch it. And it bugs me, because I watched this movie, I think, let's see, when did it come out? Uh, yeah, 2008, I was in middle school. Yeah, I remember it came out, and I, you know, I was, I was YouTube at the time, I just... It was like fake fan-made trailers for some game, and I showed a, um, a scene from this movie, and I was like, what is that? I want to know, and my brother, same thing, he was like, I want to know what movie that is. So we finally found it, and the movie is called Outlander, and basically what it is, is the, the title says, Beowulf meets Predator, and uh, yeah, that's basically correct. What it is, is... A, um, I mean, I haven't rewatched it before while, uh, making this video, but you know, I, I've watched it a few times. Uh, here, I'll read this uh, the description. A futuristic soldier who crash lands on Earth with a hellish, fire-breathing monster in a time of warring Viking tribes, fusing advanced technology with Iron Age weaponry, he must unite the fierce Vikings and hunt the bloodthirsty beast before it kills them all. Oh. Featuring Ron Perlman, Sophie Miles, and John Hurt. Outlander is visually, visually spectacular, combining stunning special effects, fast-paced action, and fantastic story to explosive effect. So, yeah. What it is, is an alien... Mm, I'd say, like, bounty hunter. You know, military uh, guy. Has a dra an alien dragon on a spaceship, and they were taking it somewhere. Uh, the dragon disrupts the ship and it crash lands on Earth, and it turns out that it's Earth during the Viking Age, you know, era, whatever. And so this alien, you know, who I mean, you know, basically looks human, has to try to convince these people that the alien dragon is loose and that they need to fight. But you know, the people are like, oh, we don't know who you are, whatever. And the, for straight to DVD movie, the visuals, yes, the visuals are really awesome. I feel like they did a good job with CGI, but it also a good job with practical effects, effects and just armor and how everything looked. The acting, from what I remember, was good overall, but some parts were a little over dramatic, you know, like, you know, like, oh, oh, you know, it's just like, whoa, you know, they see a dragon and they're like, oh. Which, you know, I'm sure that's how I would react, but it's just a little, like, funny and over the top. But, uh, another thing is, you have Jim Caviezel, or, Cavie yeah, Caviezel? I can I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but, uh, Ron Perlman and John Hurt. You know, those are big names for a straight-to-DVD movie. And, uh, yeah, when I watched this, yeah, when I watched I was in middle school, and it blew me away. I was like, how can this be a straight-to-DVD movie? This should, this, this were to release in theaters, I bet you'd make money. And I couldn't, I couldn't find it on Blu-ray. I could only find it on DVD. But I told all my friends who love fantasy stuff. Uh, I mean, it's fantasy and sci-fi. You know, it's best of both worlds. I told them, I was like, hey, watch this. You know, you, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I had one friend, I don't know if he ever watched it. I let him borrow it. You know, he had it for like three years, but he never, I don't think he ever watched it, but... Um, it's one of those things where, you know, people look at it and they're like, oh, you know, what? I don't know. But I always see it at the shelf at Vintage Stock and, you know, just other movie stores. And I'm like, people need to buy this movie. It's a great movie. I've had this copy uh, since, since I think I had it in middle school. I think it's the same copy. But uh, at least, like, you know, a few times a year, at least minimum once a year, I watch it because it's just, it's, you know, it's cheesy, but you feel like they put a lot of, you know, heart and soul into it, making sure that it did good, and it's rated R only for violence, God. 
which if I do remember correctly, it's pretty violent, but it's really just because the dragon's ripping people apart and, you know, ripping their heads off and stuff. I can't remember if you see too much actual, like, Viking fighting. <sighs> But, yeah, I, th I remember this scene, because I don't, I don't want to spoil too much, but this scene, I think they're trying, yeah, they're all awaiting the dragon to trap it, and it turns out, I think it turns out that the dragon went a different way or something, and it's just this cool, creepy, you know, because the dragon is, I mean, because you can see on the cover a little bit, it's this glowing reddish dragon, and I think in the scene it goes a different way, and you just see little light spots and it just whips someone and just you know kills him just whips that guy whips that guy which you know i guess i kind of did just spoil it a little bit but that scene i was like damn you know that, oh man and like i said it's good for the fantasy lovers you know because it's not you know it's the viking era and swords and dragons but it's also sci-fi you know because when the dude first shows up he's in this alien armor but you know it has like the alien you know, the sword made out of the alien metal and the alien that's not even actually a dragon so it's you have the space theme mixed with the fantasy and it mixes you know I feel like they integrated it really well because I can't really think of any movie or or game really that has a futuristic fantasy technology setting but yeah this movie this movie does it real well, and I strongly recommend. If you can find this, if you can find this movie anywhere, you go buy it because I'm sure by now. I mean, it's been ten, God, ten years. I didn't realize that when I said 2008. Ten years. It has to be like ten bucks now, or even five bucks. So go and buy it. I mean, let's see how long it is. It's a uh, well. I don't know how long it is, but, oh, okay, 115 minutes, so that's that's not even that long, you know, it's not like it's going to waste really any time of your life, and you're not going to regret it, because this is a badass movie, and for me, this is a definite buy, like, no questions, I wish more people would give it a view, because I've literally asked everyone I know, and they have no idea what it is. I mean, they don't really know who Jim Caviezel is, but, yeah. Go buy or somehow stream this movie right now. And that's going to be it for the review. I know, I mean, I really don't have any faults with this. Uh, I'm not, like, a movie critic or anything. I just, I you know, if I love a movie, I love it. If I hate it, I hate it. And this is a movie I love. So, go check it out. Alright, thanks for watching.